What's up, what's up, what's going on guys? Hey, as you guys can see, I'm excited. I decided to make two videos today so I can talk to you guys about my team that finished first and 10th place in the 333. First place, 100K and 10th place, $875. Yes, what is great night. So I want to share this, you know, I just want to share it with you guys as far as how I come up with this lineup. As you guys know that Moses was my play. So if you guys follow me, by the way, guys, please subscribe to my channel. Drop a like in this video for me. I would really appreciate it as I'm trying to build this channel. But for you guys that was a follower of me, know that Uladipo was my pick for shooting guard. Moses Brown was my pick for the center. And if you guys didn't follow me, you guys know I'm a big fan of Jalen Brown. And I know it was going to be low pick, so I had to go with Jalen Brown here. Once I have Jalen Brown at 9.9%, I know for sure that most likely that lineup going to be unique. Because I know Collins and Tobias was going to be some kind of popular, especially Collins once we knew that he was going to be the starting center. So... I had to uh, get more Collins on my teams. I had a lot of Collins, but I had I still had more Jalen Brown. I only had 14 teams, and 10 of them had Moses Brown. That's how I, I was high on Moses Brown. I usually don't play expensive uh, print guard, but if you guys watched the video last night, you guys saw that I said I like Damian Lillard. And for some reason, I thought he was going to be low on, but I was wrong. Why? Because of who's coming back my column so i think a lot of people is gonna try to stay away from him but i know my column doesn't really take from him and Lillard on the fourth quarter was amazing all right Lillard was amazing he's the reason they won this game and thank you and ricky rubio when i saw him had 20 fantasy points in the first quarter i say yes that's why i like you uh i was surprised he was only 14.7 i mean 14.9 percent that was very surprising to see him at 14.9%. Hey, but I will take that. So he definitely helped me. If you check most of my team, you will see that I have Rubio. At least 60% of my lineups was Ricky Rubio. So I was high on Rubio. For some reason, I was on THT tonight. The thing about it, to be honest, I wasn't even on THT at all. Then I heard someone... Uh, Sometimes I, even though I have shows, sometimes I watch other show, and I heard someone said he THT play uh, more me than usual, and I'm like, you know something? Let me go check his stats. I look at his stats. I'm like, oh, I like that. So let me go ahead and put 20% uh, of THT. That's all I play. I didn't play. I play 20% of them. I said I like that. And then last week, last game I didn't like Porter, but this game I say I was like against Atlanta. I have to get Kevin Porter, and I don't see him have a back-to-back -back bad game. I mean, if you guys been following Porter last year, when he get a chance to play, he was great. So I had to jump back in Porter, and I'm glad I did with 47.8. Last week, I, la I mean not last week, the game before I was on Brown, this game I was on Brown. He was 3 point. To me, there was no need for me to have Brown, even though I had him, but not as much. Last game I had him a lot, but this game I'm like, you know something? I will do the I will do it the other way around. I will go with Porter this time. Because sometimes it's good to listen to other people and people sometimes it's good to other to listen to the other shows because they were like, man, I'm gonna have this much Porter. I'm like, you know something? I'm staying away from that. Yes, he's cheap. On DK, I will play him. On FD, I will also play him. But not as much as I wanted to. Last night, I was high on Porter before I make the lineup. Because he was one of the cheap guys I, I gave you guys. But I'm like, you know, rather than play 50% like I wanted to, let, let's dial down on that. Let's play about 30%. But lucky for me, he wasn't on that lineup. But I did have a lot of Porter. Just wasn't on that lineup. But Tobias was a guy I was on. Because once you take out embed in the lineup and Tobias should have been uh, in the all-star game and he wasn't I'm like I'm if 
That's another player I'm always on to, to bias. Even when Embiid plays, sometimes I play him. Most of the time when I don't play him, when Embiid is around, it's because of his price, not because of what I know he can do. Because with a team with Embiid, Tobias, and all those other guys, sometimes it's hard for all those guys to eat. But today was just the good day. Even though I know he was going against the Knicks, that play is low. I mean, it's slow, pace game. But I know Tobias is a guy that do a little bit of everything. I'm always big a fan of him. I was so proud of his season at the LA Clippers. So when I think, that's why I picked, that was one of the reasons I picked when they lost to Toronto. That was one of the reasons I picked them to win the whole thing that year. But Toronto won it, of course. We all know how Toronto beat them with that shot by Kawhi that bounced like 10 times before he went in. But, and also this year, I also picked them this year to, as far as the East for them to go. I know a lot of people are on Brooklyn, but me, I still think Philly is the team. If Embiid, of course, is healthy. I end up with 436. There were I had there was nobody close to me. So even though you know all the guys that was close to me, they all had ah oh, excuse me. Oh, that's my wife and my. Let me take this off. Sorry about that, guys. She's in Ethiopia, so over there it's like right now it's 2 a.m. where I am over there where she's at. It's uh, 9 a.m. Anyway, so she's on, sent me something she found on TikTok. Anyway, so, yeah. Ricky Rubio definitely came to for me. Uh, at the last minute, that TST last two points actually ended up hurting me because even if he didn't score that, I would still end up in first place. But in my other lineup, I would have ended up in seventh place, and that would have been an extra 1200 and some dollars. But hey, I cannot complain, man. First time, not first time finish first now, but first time winning 100K. Because I finished first more than once. Actually, I think my stats are, are in water grinders, you know, where you can see the stats. So, and I used to, I used to, I've been playing for a while since, you know, I used to get the books at the store and then, you know, make sheets and stuff. I've been playing for a very, very long time since I was like in. After I graduated high school, when I was working at Publix, me and my friend, we couldn't wait to get the NFL books when they come out. You know, because, you know, he wasn't online at the time. He was like, you have to wait for the books. They have the 100 top players. So I couldn't wait. It was, and then NBA, the same thing. I still have some of those books. Maybe one day I will uh, show you guys some of those books because some of them are safe. Uh, I think, yeah, some of them I believe are safe and stuff like that. So who knows? I might be able to sell them. So... Yep, that's how I come up with this lineup, man. I know I like Rubio. Even though I usually, if you guys watch my video, you will see where I said, you know, today is not, I don't think today is the day for expensive card. But I think to, yesterday when I was stuck and I said, you know, I actually like Lillard. But for tomorrow, honestly, those expensive guys, they're not even that expensive. I'm talking about like Luca for tomorrow. You have uh, Kerry on the 10K. They're not that expensive, but there's still so many great players on the 10K, on the Nike, or ni close to Nike, mid Nike, and below. So tomorrow it's going to be a mix of things, but I still like the cheapest guy tomorrow than the expensive guys. Even though Luca is on the 10.5K, I believe. Kerry is on the 10K. You never really see those prices. But because there is 10 games, and my, by the way, my video is already out there for those things, for those uh, 10 game slate. I still think tomorrow is one of the slates where I'm going to go with the cheaper point guard, but I will definitely have line up with uh, Luca, just like I mentioned on that video. So if you guys watch that, that video. Again, guys, thank you for all of you guys that have been following me. Man, now, you know, I won before. I mean, like, I even won two satellite, M MLB satellite. I don't even like playing MLB, but not satellite, but uh, qualify. And I also won, but I've never come actually close to win 100K. It's my first time. Uh, I think I finished, like, I think I had played $500 one, one time. I finished fifth or something like that. 
but it wasn't even close to be 100k. Uh, but I'm exciting, I'm happy, and I've also been doing okay in uh, in uh, cryptocurrencies. I, last week I saw one, I put $33 on it. Last week, that was like seven days ago, now it's like 8,000 bucks. So this week has been good. January was a bad month. February was bad, okay, but it was still a lost month. And this month was actually really bad too, but that's all you need, man, that one big win, because I've been playing for that long. Since I've been playing, I haven't even come close to losing $25,000. I'm just giving you guys an example. But once you get that big win, you're good. So I get that big win. Hopefully that's not the last one. And hopefully you guys that follow me, I hope one day I get to you see I get to see you guys sending me a screenshot of you guys winning first place, second place, third place, you know, anywhere in the top ten, you know, because this is uh, 421 finished 875 dollars. Uh, actually, I will take that. But February, March hasn't been bad because. The other day I won, <laughs> I won what, $1,000. So yeah, it hasn't been bad. So this month has been good. And uh, I'm looking forward for another first place. Man, uh, I see Awusamo, uh, if I bought your name, my apology. He was right there behind me, but he couldn't catch me. Nope, because he had Ubio, he had Lillard. And then the New Orleans guy was done and I had T H T. So uh, most likely I'm gonna get me a uh, a jersey. So I, if I get a jersey, it cannot just be T H T. I gotta get one from from Moses Brown. Uh, I don't know if I need Tobias Collins. I'm a big fan of Jalen Brown, so if I get it, but I'm not a big fan of Boston, so I don't think I want the Boston jersey. <laughs> Kevin Porter, I'm happy for him. Uh, Washington always be giving those guys, those small forward guys, man, that like Oubre, uh, Kevin Porter, and there's another one that's playing for them right now. They're not even playing in minutes. I think this guy could be those type of guys. Washington, man, I don't know. Oladipo, 41.1. The way he start the first quarter, man, I'm like, no, one fantasy point. Then the second quarter, it just, then I saw a blowout. I was like, come on. Then the game get closer. I thought it was going to finish with more, but I will take the 41. Yeah, that's basically it again, guys. Appreciate you guys. Thank you for the support. As you can see, this lineup is almost the same lineup. The difference is... Uh, oh, yeah, the difference is... Uh, quickly was more popular than CHT. And I have Kevin Porter, and then this one had Gallo. So Gallo actually did okay. 42.2. Uh, that's another guy I end up playing because, just like I did last game, because of course Capella was out. All right. Again, guys, please follow me, subscribe. I appreciate it. I guess I should call this Talo how I won 100K. Yeah, that should be it. All right, guys, again, thank you, and I'm out.